Hey everyone, it's Jason, and this is your midweek cruise news, and we have an update on the nickel and diming story from Celebrity Cruises. Also, do you think you should have to tip extra up front for exceptional service from your stateroom attendant? So cruise story number one, and just a quick update on the nickel and diming by Celebrity Cruises. It's been confirmed that many of the wines that were once included under the premium beverage package are no longer included anymore. So if you want those certain wines, you're going to have to pay a premium on top of the premium beverage package. Also, one thing to note is this includes sweet guests that are in the retreat and at Lumine. So just keep that in mind. It's an unfortunate thing that Celebrity Cruises has done. And if you're not happy about this change and you're a fan of Celebrity Cruises or you're sailing with them soon, I would send an email to Laura Hodges Bethke. She is the president of Celebrity Cruises and I'll make sure to put her email in my description. So cruise story number two, the MSC Symphonia broke free from her moorings in Italy. Now they had a freak gale storm, winds picked up, 45, 50 mile an hour winds, and she was there for a dry dock. So there was no passengers on board, no gangways, thank goodness, because it broke free and it ran into this, as you can see, this yacht club here, messed up the piers and the docks and some of the yachts here. Some of those yachts are half a million dollar yachts and above those sailboats. So no estimate on the damage as of yet. Not sure we'll ever get that. But a crazy story there. Glad no one was injured and no passengers were on board at the time. So before I get to cruise story number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing if you like to stay up to date on what's going on in the cruise industry as I do daily cruise news shorts in under 30 seconds. Thanks so much. So cruise story number three, and I can't wait to hear your guys' comments on this one. Do you think you need to tip extra on embarkation day in order to receive exceptional service from your stateroom attendant? So someone wrote in to John Heal, the brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Lines. And apparently one of the board moderators on Facebook for a carnival page is telling people this, that it's expected. And anyone not doing this can expect inferior service. I've done it for 28 cruises. I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. Interesting comment there. So it says from John Heald, no, this is not true, not expected and not needed. At the end of the cruise, if you've received wonderful service from the cabin attendant, then they will be beyond grateful for the gratuities you leave them. I really appreciate that comment by John Heald, basically saying, no, you should expect a exceptional service. You don't have to tip extra. Now, I'm not here to say if that's what you do and that's something that you like to do, excellent. If you feel that helps, great. Now, we don't ever tip beforehand. It's just not something I do because I believe tipping should be based off a of service, not a bribe. That's the way I look at it. I'm bribing you to give me good service. No, give me good service. I'm leaving my tips on. I always leave auto tips on or prepay, and I'm going to tip you something at the end. That's the way I feel. What do you guys think? Look forward to hearing from you in the comments. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for the support. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.